A hernia is formed when an organ or the fat around it squeezes through a defect in the abdominal wall. This forms a lump under the surface of the skin. It can be caused by a natural weakness in the abdominal wall or strenuous activities such as lifting weights or persistent coughing. Hernias are a common problem, with surgeons at Ku Tech Quad Hospital operating on about three hernias a week. Most of these are inguinal hernias. Inguinal hernias occur in the groin area and are caused by a portion of the bowel pushing through a hole or weakness in the lower abdominal wall. This type of hernia is particularly common in men, but they also occur in women. Hernias can also happen at other parts of the body, such as the belly button or previous abdominal incisions. If left untreated, there's a risk the narrow defect will stop blood from flowing to the trapped organ, starving it of oxygen and nutrients. This is potentially fatal. To repair the hernia, the organ of fat is pushed back through the defect to its original position. A mesh is usually fixed over the hole to prevent the hernia from recurring. The operation can be done either by keyhole surgery or open incisional surgery. During keyhole surgery, doctors make three small incisions on the abdomen. Operating instruments are inserted through two of the holes and a thin flexible camera through the third so the doctor can see inside. The benefits of a keyhole surgery are a faster recovery time and smaller scars, but it is not suitable for all patients because it is done under general anesthesia. With open incisional surgery, an approximately 5 to 7 cm long incision is made on the abdomen for the doctor to access the hernia. This surgery can be done under general anesthesia or local anesthesia where the patient is awake during the operation but unable to feel any pain. Your surgeon and anesthetist will recommend which surgery is best for you based on your hernia and overall health. The surgery takes about one and a half hours, but you will need to remain under observation in the hospital for two to six hours before being allowed home. For the next two to three months, try to avoid lifting heavy objects or overexerting yourself. If you experience any of the following symptoms, go immediately to our acute and emergency care department. Persistent fever above 38.5 degrees Celsius. Persistent pain, persistent nausea and vomiting, swelling around the surgery site, blood or yellowish fluid around the surgery site, redness surrounding the incision site that gets worse or bigger. You will need to come back for a review appointment with the doctor two weeks after the surgery.